Good afternoon. We are here in the Muto MEC, the Muto Experience Center, and today I will show you our new 461, our direct-to-object printer, uh, which is the successor of our 426 model. Basically, uh, the persons who know the 426 will straight away be able to change machine and work with a new machine. The major advantage we want to introduce here is our new lamp. So we still have our quality head, our monoblock 8 channel uh, head. And the new lamp has six segments instead of two segments. Basically, for a user, this means he can print the, the glossy varnish. We, we have big demand for glossy varnish. He can print the glossy varnish in a better and at the same time also faster way. Second aspect of the new machine is the change of the table build. So the whole mechanism on the 426 was a scissor lifting mechanism. This has now been improved to the same concept as the larger brother, the 661 and the previous uh, 626 machine. A table which is uh, completely mechanical, rectangular and which supports on the sides, making it much more stable. The table has been improved for, impre uh, for precision, for height setting and the improved table structure allows us to print at larger objects where the 426 machine had a limitation of 7 cm. Our new 461, thanks to the fact that we can remove the top part of the table, can print up to 15 cm just like its big brother, the 661. As we take a closer look at the machine's construction, we notice the hatch in front. If I open the hatch, you see the improved mechanism, which has a much more fine-tunable um, height setting. Um, up to 0.1 mm precision is possible. We also notice the improved uh, layout of the panel, which is now a touch screen, has illumination LEDs, and is much more simple than in use. Also a double line display. The table area, compared to the previous model, is enlarged. We have 10 mm in Y and 10 mm in X direction added to the previous size. Uh, but what's more important than this enlarged table size is the fact that there is a line engraved on the metal part which is clearly showing my 00, zero point and which allows me to very easily position an object. As this is positioned, I will of course have to adjust the machine's height. Done by the ruler. and the machine will always perform a checkup with the laser system. So this should roughly be the correct height. I will close the front hatch, which you can see has been equipped with these pneumatic uh, pumps to help you lifting the weight. The cover has a much sturdier and stronger design than the, the previous machine. One push on the upper arrow, and the machine starts to check the table for any unwanted obstacles. So all is set, a simple click on the print button in my software. The machine, the panel starts blinking, which means he is receiving data. The head is already in start position and the print will follow. Here we go, one finished name tag ready to hang on your door. As a special bonus with the machine, we would like to introduce our variable data option. So what is variable data? Well, imagine you get an order for 1000 name cards, which are used for a company event, and each name card has to be unique. So your customer sends you a design, and he sends you an Excel list with roughly, let's say, 500 names. You do not want to start designing 500 name cards one by one. Up to recently, for a task like that, we would recommend our customers to use software like Adobe InDesign, where you have your design, you define which words are the variable ones, and you link them to Excel 
the software will export all the files one by one and you are still left with the, with the exact placement problem you have, which is doable for a good designer. The design you see here on my table, these 10 name cards have been created with our free version, our latest free version of Moodle Layout Tool, which supports the variable data option and which has been used here in a combination with both names and images, just like the cards I'm holding in my hand. So the layout I have on my screen is the one you see on my jig with name cards. And for this small exercise, we have limited ourselves to only two lines of variable data. But the moment I click line one, line two, you see the images changing according to the variable data while keeping their exact layout. When you receive the machine, you can choose to equip the machine either in double four color for higher printing speed, or you can choose to equip the machine in a six color configuration, the standard four color, and white and varnish added to have special effects with the varnish and to mask out the underground with the white ink. The inks are available either in 220 milliliter cassettes or in bags, which need the L-shape adapter systems for the high demanding customer. And we have, of course, the rigid ink, which is for high chemical endurance. And we also have the flexible ink, which has, as the name says itself, a very high flexible characteristics for printing on iPhone covers, for example. So here we see an example of a phone cover which is printed with a flexible ink. And as you can see, I can really fold it once, fold it twice, 180 degrees folding and the ink will perfectly survive all of that. As I showed in my first example, we had an object which is hard and rigid and which if I drop it stays flat by itself. But of course if you want to print on something which is flexible and which has like vinyl for example, which has a memory curling, the printing would give me some extra issues because of this memory curling. But to tackle that problem we have optional the vacuum table, which once connected, makes a vacuum and whatever is non-rigid is perfectly flat and we can print on. Here we see the big brother of our previous model. This is the 661 unit, which has a table nearly double the size of the 461. And the most important feature on this machine is that the table height is set automatically. So if I take an object like this wooden board of 12 mm, and I position this on the vacuum bed, which is standard with this machine. It takes just one tap on the upper arrow button and my table will set the height automatically depending on the object. As an extra feature on the 661 machine, we have the rotary option, which can be mounted inside the machine and which is used for printing on round objects. Thank you for watching this video and if you need more information check out our site muto.eu